Hello everyone, welcome to a day in the life of the Abbey Arbor Journal. I'm Lance Pinsbrook welcome, welcome to my channel. Today is March 31st. I have to redo this video because it's shut off within 7 seconds. I don't know why it does that. This camera needs to kick sometimes. Anyway, so I, I got to recap of what everything I was doing. There's probably going to be some more noise now. So, as you can see, I'm out in the woods right now. Um, you know, it's it's uh, just before uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, you see this time here? It's uh, 10 40, 43. Well, it's probably going to be 44, but anyway, 10 43. Uh, as you can see, you know, the lighting's not bad. Uh, I did a, I was looking for some place in the woods to uh, do a video log for March 31st here, and I think in this tree here is a good focal point because it's kind of half dead and half alive. So hopefully, you know, you know I'm squaring a vlog for you guys, and yet, you know, the focal point is good. You can hear a bunch of, uh, like a truck beeping because uh, down way way over that way they're doing some uh, uh, gravel to the laneway and you, you can hear a little bit of scraping um, there was less beeping that time and, and then it started scraping within uh, within uh, 10 minutes so you probably hear less scraping now um, you probably hear some cars going by I mean the highway's not too far away either uh, right now I guess my location is probably like uh, 15 feet in and maybe no sorry about 20 to 30 feet in and about 45 to 50 feet away from my uh, dad's laneway now the, the people are doing uh, uh, some repairs on their laneway because of the winter and uh, having car rats and stuff like that so when they put the gravel down it kind of you know fix things out but usually it's, it's some man work to get the hoe out and actually take those lumps down and put it down laneway and then maybe a vehicle could squish a little bit so that's what those big trucks are for. So when it's beeping up, it's you know throwing gravel down and actually squishing it into the ruts and then smoothing it out so it can be better laneway. But a good plus thing about that is that um, the laneway uh, is out in the open. My dad's laneway is enclosed and it's a long laneway. My dad's about half a mile off the road. Um, as you can hear, it's a little bit of... It's a little windy right now. It's a little chilly. Uh, it's cloudy right now. Uh, it's supposed to be raining this afternoon. Hope it doesn't rain soon. I mean, I want to get this video log done. Um, so about the laneway. Uh, let's see. My dad's laneway is about half a mile of the road. Uh, back then, when I was like uh, maybe five years old, he used to sneak in my uh, uh, grandfather's tr uh, truck or uh, vehicle. It's usually a car, like a. Uh, uh, like a Ford or something, I don't know. But anyway, uh, the lane will used to be only as, as big as a car length. And then uh, th now today it's like three uh, uh, car width, like widths, like, you know, wideness. And my dad's put a, like, a, uh, uh, like a load of gravel back then, and it, it, was, it was fine. But the lane was like a long uh, mud hole, like kind of like a swamp. And that loads of gravel keeps getting squished in year after year. And we, we trimmed down a lot of the tree branches so that there's some heat that gets to the laneway and dry it up. But he's gone through like 18 loads of gravel and then like last year was a top layer of, um, what do you call that, um, uh, broken up asphalt. And that worked out fine. But now there's a lot of different ruts and stuff. And hopefully I'm in focus for you guys. Okay, it's still alive. And... And it's all squished down, so you might be on another low, low, like another layer of uh, gravel. But it's just, it's a uh, pretty bad. Um, when I did this vlog a few minutes ago, when I was you know talking, I heard a vehicle go by. You know, they're river their engine. That's usually my neighbor. They have a four by four, and they drive around the corner pretty quick. And it's just a little small corner, and then you know, they got four by four uh, uh, trucks, and they're they're the ones that are making the big. Um, Holy cow. You can hear that dragon now. It's just dragging that thing. Anyway, um, the 4x4 uh, trucks that makes the, the uh, ruts. And my dad has a car and he's going to be fixing the van. When it's warmer, he'll be fixing the van in the car. He'll be driving the car, but it's kind of kind of sways a little bit. So he's waiting for warmer weather to actually do some repairs on that um, to find out what's going on with it. Probably the, the uh, back crossbar, it's kind of, well, I know exactly what it is, but I, I not really want to tell, talk about it on camera, you know, 
it involves in drink and driving. My dad hasn't drank for more than a year, you know, it's like a like year and two weeks, I guess. Well, anyway, he hasn't drank for a, a while, and uh, it was somebody else using the vehicle and you know, messed up the vehicle for him. Um, you probably can hear some cars going by, you know, we're not too far from the highway, too, and it, it, it travels. And a bunch of squeaking and, and uh, scraping, you know, that's that truck, you know, fixing that one person's laneway. Um, when I was doing the vlog a few minutes ago, I heard some, you know, birds chirping around nearby, and I don't know, I guess they're mad because I'm in their area. There could be a nest nearby. I don't think there's a nest in here. Like, there's a hole in this tree here, but I don't think there's any squirrels in it. Just an old dead tree. Or well, half dying tree, anyway. So hopefully I'm still in focus for you guys. Hello. Okay, yeah. Still auto focusing. It's pretty good. Hopefully that auto focusing is not really annoying you guys. And hopefully, you know, I'm a good focal point. So uh, after this video log, um, not really much to do. Oh, wait. Um, I think today's. Yeah, today's Thursday. And my dad usually goes to the food bank on a Thursday. So I usually go with him and I get some food too for the house. Cause like, you know, it gives him some kind of variety of stuff. Uh, you know, if he's short on like uh, sauce or pasta, you know, I don't think he ever be short on pasta. He's always got a lot of pasta. Um, I know sometimes it's frozen stuff, sometimes there's veggies. I'm trying to introduce some veggies into, you know, uh, you know, soups and stuff because he's diabetic and that's something that he needs. So, um, what's I going to say on that? Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably go to the food bank. That's uh, it's supposed to be around eleven o'clock. By the time I'm doing this video log, you know, he probably will be wanting to go to the food bank and will be picked up. And um, the food bank opens at eleven, but we'll probably leave at like eleven fifteen, eleven thirty. I'll tell I'll, if he does text me, you know, I'll probably vibrate. You guys won't be able to hear it. And I'll send a text to him saying, uh, "Yeah, I'm just about done. I'm just uh, walking around." And then uh, we go to the food bank from there. Um, it's good to, you know, go to the food bank with him, you know, get some other stuff, some extra stuff. I mean, sometimes there's some canned stuff that he likes. And, you know, sometimes I get some extra stuff, like for me, uh, I don't know, if I need soap or something, or I need razors, or, uh, um, I don't know, I don't know, whatever it is. You know, if, even if it's body sprays, you know, these, those, uh, black cans of body sprays that, you know, he used to pick up. You know, that's always good. I like to always do that because sometimes I'll be walking around this house and, you know, it's so smoky, you know, because he smokes and then my sister smokes and sometimes his friends or family come around and they're smoking. You know, I keep the uh, one door closed so, you know, there's not a bunch of smoke in there. But then I had to go in there, you know, throw a little bit of spray, and, you know, it actually smells better than the smoke. Anyway, so I'm sitting out here doing a vlog in the middle of the woods. It's, you know, it does seem odd, but I thought I mean give it a different scenery and uh, the... The tripod right now is on, like on roots and stuff. I mean, I'm standing on roots from this tree right now, so hopefully I'm not too high up that you guys don't see me as well. I mean, I'm looking kind of down right now because it's kind of low, but you know, maybe it is good. Hopefully, this video does uh, look good. On uh, you know, uh, I'll probably do another video tomorrow. If it doesn't rain. Um, it's supposed to be uh, freezing rain today. And sometimes freezing rain in the afternoon. So if it's warm enough tomorrow, I might do a video log out here. If not, I might be doing a video log. And one of the tra trailers. Well, I could do one of the trailers, one of the rooms, basement. You know, places like that. And right now, you know, it's it's just gotten a little bit windy right now. A little bit of a breeze. You guys probably heard on the mic. Uh, a little bit less beeping right now. I have a squawking bird way over there. Sounds like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, blue jays? Yeah, a blue jay. So it's not a bad day. It's a little chilly. I didn't bring a jacket with me. I kind of left it home because I think you know, it was going to be warm enough to be out here. But you know, it's warmer when you're walking and stuff. And this video log is going good. It's not shutting off this time. I mean, right about now is when it shut off last time. So I'm getting almost my halfway in. Um, let's see now. Well, this, uh, this, this little area, I mean, there's, there's some, you know, uh, there's some open areas, but it's mostly all tree, like, small trees growing. So they're like twigs and stuff. 
Um, there's some spots like uh, there's a nice tree right there. That's a birch bark tree right over there. That's not bad at all. There's birch over there. There's birch there. There's birch there. Birch there. Birch there. Birch there. A bunch of birch over there. I think they're birch. They could be hickory trees for all I know. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know the difference between hickory and birch. I mean, my dad uh, carves with uh, hickory, and I don't think he's ever carved with birch. I don't know. It's always uh, hickory, walnut, and pine and stuff like that. So, anyway, that hurts from an animal. So it's kind of. Uh, Kind of scary to be out in the woods, and you know, and you have uh, the fox or a wolf or a raccoon, and possum. I don't know anything like that. So anyway, you know, I'm just gonna continue doing this video log. Um, so it's a little bit windy, you know. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. I hope to get this video log done. Wow, that highway uh, uh, road actually does travel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm in the woods right now, but I mean, it still travels pretty far. It being in the end of the, the month and all, it, you know, there's going to be a lot of vehicles on the road. I mean, it's only a Thursday, too. And this is usually, you know, work time, too, like morning and work and or going to pick up your kid from uh, school or something like that. I mean, I, don't, I think it's the little kids that have the half days, but even there's uh, even adults or, you know, parents and stuff. That go and bring their kids lunches too, because they forget lunches, or you know, they bring them a lunch and all it's in the area. But I don't know. I, I hear a little bit of the uh, sound traveling from far away. I mean, it could be the sound of the different vehicles, and you know, just add up to one another. I don't know. It's tough to say. I mean, that that highway's not too far away. Like even that one mile road, uh, it's like way, way over. That I mean, this is. I don't know what the parsecs or you know how many acres between this and the next road way over that way I mean that's way way over that way I mean, that's a busy road too um, let's see on that um, hmm. let's see now I don't know guys I have more to say on that uh, but yeah like, like I said you know I'm just sitting in the woods doing a video log it's a little bit kind of creepy but you know, it's not. It's not uh, nice and bright out here, and hopefully, you know, I just, uh, it, you know, the focal point is actually good. You know, got I got an old tree behind me. Um, let's see, you can't really hear any any, any more of that truck. Oh, there it goes, it's moving again. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there, there might be even some tapping. I mean, there's a. Uh, a few houses over, uh, let's see, that way, like, up that way and then down that way, there's a few houses over, wow, they're not really that close, but it sounds loud, holy cow, well, it's only a couple laneways over, though, but, you know, the, the houses, distance between two, two houses are, are different, but anyway, a few, ho three or four houses over, they're going to be doing, uh, probably some repairs on the roof. I seen uh, when I would when I came this way, uh, I could see tarp on a roof. So the tarp on the roof indicates, you know, that you're gonna have to do some refixings and stuff like that. And you know, there's gonna be some tapping sound and stuff like that. Uh, I just came to the halfway point of my video, and then I'm just just redarted there now. Uh, I think the camera shifted a little bit. You can hear that truck still. So I'm letting my viewers know that I got the halfway point, and you know that I you know I shut off camera. So you know, sometimes it goes to the 18 minutes and then shuts off. I don't know why it shuts off at 18 minutes. Sometimes 19 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. So if I do the, the two 15-minute vlog, which is now uh, the vlog A and vlog B of that of the set day, then you know I can do the editing of me turn on the camera and turn off the camera between those you know, stuff there, and then I can do the intro and outro, and then uh, any other fixings I need to do. I mean, I, I don't really have to do any fixings. So I don't really, you know. Sometimes my words are mixed up. Sometimes the when I do the uh, the welcome intro and you know sometimes it's just messed up. 
But anyway, I'm still in the woods and I'm doing a video log and I think my camera did shift a little bit. I think it did. Anyway, it's it's still there, it's still at that focal point, I hope. But um You can hear that truck anyway. It's it's not like over this way, because way over this way is where the lane was at. So it's like mainly way over that way. And there's like a house that's like I don't really know how far. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of far in the bush right now. Uh, like I said, I'm like uh, 30 to 40 feet, maybe, I don't know, something like that. And then the lane way over there is between like 50 to 100 feet away. And then like way over that way, I mean, it's probably like 300, 400 feet, I don't know. Probably three or 400 feet until, you know, that one house. And then probably near 100 to 200 feet to the house beside that. But that's where they're doing the gravel. It's like way over that way. <laughs> so the sound of the truck is actually bouncing through the woods and you know coming over this way. You guys are picking up probably on the mic. Oh, well, you can probably hear the mic, and you guys can probably hear it. Oh, uh, anyway, the blah 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 on that. Oh, sound does have travel when you're sitting in the woods, eh? I mean, this woods is supposed to be you know, quiet and stuff. So uh, anyway. Um, just doing a video in the woods and I'll come to the halfway point and after this video I'm probably going to do a uh, I don't know I'm probably going to do oh yeah go to the food bank with my dad okay and all that truck's going to quiet down now which is good um, I can still hear the truck a little bit it might be like more than one truck though too. You know, it could be a couple trucks uh, fixing that way. Uh, there's no, it's probably uh, one of those little, uh, um, little, I don't know what you call those little plow things that you know pushes the gravel around. It's not a, not a bad really long laneway, and it's not really that much gravel. But maybe they're doing some fixings and you know taking out the ruts on that thing. I mean, it, it, it can build up, you know, uh, like over time, but doesn't get done. Um. So, so let's see, there's like one house there, that second house is one with the lane, I think that's the one. Then there's a third house, there's a fourth house beside that. That's the one that's getting roofed out, done, done. I think it's the fourth house. I know there's a, like the fourth house, but there's also a house that's inset too. There's a, there's a new house that's inset. Uh, it's new, it's like, uh, you know, it's not, not too far from one another, I mean don't think it, that's the one that's getting new gravel. But I mean, there's not really any woods over there. I mean, it's all open and, you know, they're just doing some fixings here and there. It's like, I guess you just call it like spring cleaning. I mean, it's not really spring right now. I mean, there's lots of snow on the ground still. It's, you know, it's chilly. I didn't bring my jacket with me. I don't know if I already said that. You know, I, you know, I said it when the damn video log shut off. And I didn't bring a jacket with me. And it's a little chilly, uh, you know, it's clouded over. It's gonna get some freezing rain in the afternoon. Hopefully it doesn't get freezing rain before I'm done this video. So, like I said, I'm sitting in the woods and, you know, doing a video log for my, uh, my viewers. I know it's an odd location, you know. I thought, you know, do something a little different and for my viewers. So there's a lot, like I said, the scenery right now, I mean, I seen like a, I think it's a, I see birch, birch bark, I guess, birch trees, hickory, I don't know, there's like hickory, uh, I don't think there's any walnut, maybe this is walnut, don't really see any walnut, but anyway, there's a bunch of trees here and there, uh, but there's a lot of, lot of little twigs and weeds and stuff with that, and um, this, this said area is like, some, some people like to, you know, bring stolen vehicles in, and, you know, parking and you know family's uh, uh, property either to strip it down or burn it and it, it pisses us off because they burn some of the trees that are you know um, with that vehicle and then there's co uh, then the police had that to see the vehicle from the you know from uh, up above you know looking in the woods and looking for some stolen vehicles and they find it they come down the lane when they chew up the lane with their vehicles and they don't care about fixing it um, well, there's even people that are, uh, you know, like, 
someplace over there down that way. Way at the front of the land, but they don't care about you know land we going to crap and. We're the ones that fix it. They don't really, you know, care. It's not even their language, you know. I mean, they should be, uh, you know, doing their own language. It's it's our family's language. They're not our family. But I don't know. It's been used for uh, 22 to 25 years, I guess. 22 to 25 years. Maybe. Maybe up to 25 years, anyway. Um, planning is maybe uh, one day, you know, if we ever have the money, you know, really, really fix that laneway and, you know, cut them off of it. Because, you know, they should just, they have never done any fixings and we don't talk to them. They have those had an attitude. They've had an attitude when I, when I started high school, throughout high school, and at the end of high school, and then I was living with my dad a little bit, you know, working and like that. And then I'm not believing around, uh, I think, when I was 20, well, I left home. You know, I, I didn't, you know, I think now I wish I didn't leave home because it's hard to come back. I mean, I could just go back, but it's harder to have a place set for me, and, you know, my life is, you know, changed, and, you know, I got cats, too, so I need a place for me and my cats, and, you know, to have my space and, you know, actually have a life, but, you know, if I stuck around, I probably would, have, you know, probably kept up with the technology, because that time, um, I was fixing um, game consoles and controllers that, you know, Either you know get wrecked or I am wrecking it myself, and you know, or like family and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes radios and uh, small TVs and stuff like that. I was starting to become you know starting a little tech stuff. I mean, I did a little, little tech stuff in high school. I mean, it was just a, a small like half credit and like that. Um, just you know, a bunch of circuits and stuff, and making the light bulb turn on or uh, having sound or something like that, and. Which with a bunch of circuits and stuff, and that's something I did. So, but now since that time, I mean, I've fixed uh, some VCRs, DVDs, computers, radios, CD players, um, uh, sometimes cell phones. I, you know, I got some idea on cell phones, cordlesses. Uh, I, I've tried my uh, hand at uh, flat screen TV, but I'm not exactly sure because that's a new technology and I'm not exactly sure. It's not really like old technology, say 80s TVs, you know, 86, 88, or 90 uh, floor model TVs. It's, you know, what I did, did learn is that don't touch that damn, um, you know, that screen, you know, that, that big giant ball, you know, the screen you actually watch your, your TV on, on there. Don't touch that glass on the other side. You get knocked on your ass or you get knocked out from the surge. Even if it's unplugged, it still holds a good whopping thing. I mean, when I was younger, my dad was doing, had his over TV and he was doing some fixing on the TV and my leg grazed up on that thing and boom. Man, that was uh, the worst shock I've ever had in my life. So, like I said, I had my hand on you know, different electronics and fixing this and that and, you know, I have a, you know, an idea of things. So, even if I stuck on reserve and, you know, I, you know, my dad was always drinking so much and, you know, partying and that's the reason why I did leave. I mean, I didn't leave him because of the drinking and, you know, partying and weird people around and, you know, I had a lot of family but not really much of friends and it's mostly just family partying and, you know, some, friend, uh, some of their friends and, you know, I didn't really have many friends. I didn't, I didn't have a relationship. Well, I kind of did have a relationship before I left reserve. That's a story in itself. Uh, I don't. I care not to talk about. It. I mean, it, it would have been good, but you know, I'm to say it. I mean, it's about meeting uh, one of her parents, and I wanted to keep my life. You know, I didn't want to actually hear that. And you know, I mean, you know, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to get into it. It's it's just a subject I don't want to care to talk about. So anyway. <clears throat> Wow, that uh, damn truck sounds. Unless that truck, there's a truck going by. I hear it more over here. I'll probably a truck going by. Okay. Um. So if I stuck around and toughed it out, and you know, still worked at the, uh, the racetrack. I mean, that's where I worked. I mean, I had fun at the racetrack. There were some off days that we were doing. Uh, you know, I like practicing of uh, you know. Um, uh, learn how to drive a car, you know, and then a little bit of rally fun, too. 
I mean, I was on figure eights so much that uh, I flattened the one tire. I mean, it was just, you know, it, it, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I ran over anything. I think it's because I was sliding on the, on the, uh, the sandy dirt so much that it actually flattened the tire. I don't know. But anyway, I mean, it was stick shift, and I didn't know how to do the stick shift thing. I mean, I kept it, like, I think second or third, and I couldn't get past that because I ended up jumping into reverse, and it's like, man, I don't... I, I, was something I didn't want to do, but I had just drive that one, uh, um, that one vehicle. You know, it's got the you know shovel and it's got that you know that big shovel thing in the back, and you can you know turn your seat around and, dro and drive either way. I tried, to, I drove that, and uh, I set up um, some tires on, on the perimeter of uh, what was supposed to be the pit. I did that a long time ago. That was fun. Now I like driving that, kicking that into. Uh, a little bit overdrive, I don't know what you call it. Oh, count. Maybe they're on break. Oh, it's probably about lunchtime now. They're probably on break. Is it sh I heard it shut off. But that's a, that's a loud shut off. Anyway, um, I was working the racetrack. My dad's drinking a lot and partying a lot. And, you know, throughout my high school, he was just drinking and partying, drinking and partying. And, you know, that's the reason why I did leave. You know, if I just started sticking around, maybe my life would have been different. You know, maybe, uh, my dad would have quit drinking sooner, you know, let him know that it bothers me, it bothers him. But when I tried to talk to him about the drinking, he wanted to fight about it, you know, because he said he thought I was calling him an alcoholic. That's not, not that, you know. It's like, Dad, you know, you're drinking a little too much and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he took it defensive, I guess. I mean, it's, uh, how do you think about, you know, about me? I mean, a lot of people said, you know, uh, have talked about drinking. I mean, I got, you know, five other sisters and they've talked about this drinking and stuff like that and it took him a long while. I mean, he quit for about, I think, uh, three, four, maybe five years of my, the beginning of my life anyway. It was three, four, or five until he started back up again. And it wasn't, I, I, as, I don't know, as a, you know, a young kid at that age, I mean, I wouldn't really know because I was always with, bouncing around with different family, you know, getting babysat, you know, uh, some other family, uh, you know, playing with them, and or uh, you know, TV and and you know, uh, toys and stuff. I don't know. I didn't really didn't really know anything about that. But when I started becoming like seven, eight, or nine, you know, then I see my dad drinking a lot, and at, at that time, and sometimes I would go had to go out to the bar, just down the street, and take it. You know, he left the keys. You know, he walked to the bar, and um. There's times I have to go and you know pick him up. Even if he does drive the car there, then I would have to go there, and what the hell. Well, it looks like it's the end of this vlog. So, uh, if you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Uh, uh, please subscribe to me. You know, you guys know where that is. You make sure this video on your channel might benefit you, might benefit me. Um, hope you guys like this video. And what time of day you guys watch this? Hope you all have a nice day. It's morning, evening, night. But until next time, I will see you.